I started the, um, the boot camps in 2010 because I was um, trying to offer the rider a camp that, that could address every technique of riding in four days. A lot of motocross school out there are one or two days and I feel like it's not enough time to, for the riders to understand this technique and take some things home with them to be able to practice them. Hi, I'm Franchi and welcome to the GPMX 2014 bootcamp. Just turn the throttle a little bit, but turn the throttle to that front light. I started the, uh, the boot camp in 2009 and it's been growing every year. The track's different, you know, everything kind of evolve with the help of the feedback from the, from the riders. Uh, the facility, the clubhouse here, really changed around. Uh, I molded around what the riders were wanted, the workshop downstairs also. And uh, the way I run the program also evolved tremendously. Each day I dedicated to one technique so everybody understand it and have time to practice those things. So the first day we do corner because there's a lot of techniques involved in, uh, in corners. The second day we do jumping and the third day of riding we do start, uh, racing strategy and uh, some motos. So it's very, very complete, very complete program. camp so far it was great definitely a great experience for me I've been here for the past few camps I learned a lot here at this camp especially improved my corner speed jumping I saw I'm starting to get confident again after coming back from my injury week went pretty good for me I like we went to like the sand place got to learn my corners and uh, a bunch of other stuff like jumping scrubbing doing everything you need basically a race starts a big part of the fun of GPMX is to have everybody here together 90% of the riders are staying in the clubhouse. We have two uh, mezzanine and they can stay together. So it's, a, it's really a social life. First day it was kind of muddy. So we went to a, uh, what was it? And we went to a sand basin. A sand basin. I thought it was fun. We got to swim in the pool, have fun, hang out with all your friends. And Learning all these words in French. And rough beefy. crowd here, rough crowd. The horse <laughs> was beefy. <laughs> as far as the track, I mean the track uh, change it's not even the same track as when we started. The only problem that I have is that I'm, I can ride anything and I love every track, so I rely on other people to uh, help me out. Uh, my friend Zach Klaposki really uh, pitch in with ideas. I pretty much give him, give him a dozer and, say, and tell him to do what he thinks is best. Because he's a lot pickier than me as far as uh, track design. So we have more rhythm into the track right now. There's, um, a lot of little things that make the track a lot more fun, more technical, but still safe. On top of that, now I have a sprinkler system, you know, on top of the water truck, which makes uh, track condition more true to life, more like a, a racetrack. The addition of a starting gate, I have an eight riders uh, gate. Uh, right side of the track is uh, a turn track, so we can separate jumping to a cornering. All those things are part of a fine tuning the facility and make it so it's more efficient for everybody to come and train here and have fun with it. At the end of each camp, I try to uh, get some feedback from the riders and uh, this year has been real good. I think that everybody really improved what, uh, what they need to improve. He's a great guy, he's a great trainer. I mean, he could be, some, he could be tough on you sometimes, but it's only what's best. Like, Sometimes he'll like get on you about like my stance. He got on me about my stance, like how my arms were, and I got a really bad arm pump. The first day of the camp, I asked them what their goals are, what they're looking to get out of the camp. And of course, after those three days of riding, it was pretty intense. 
I want to know if they reach their goal and they feel better about what they, they want to improve over the years. And I think it's paying off because the kids are having a blast. Uh, they, they have more free time and, and fun time. And I think the overall atmosphere of the, of the camp is, uh, is way better, more fun, and it's flowing together um, way better. I would definitely recommend this camp to any other rider of all ages, any size bike. It's just a ton of riding time, which is basically the main key of what you need to do to ride and get faster. For this camp, I think like everybody really uh, reached a goal, and uh, I'm very proud that I could help them uh, get there, so I'm very satisfied. And GPMX couldn't not exist without the help of all the sponsors that we uh, that uh, we had for many many years. So sponsors and friends, and of course all the uh, the riders that went through the schools the last few years. So big thank you, appreciate it more than you can imagine, and I uh, hope to continue for many many years to come. The next boot boot camp is going to be uh, the week of August 18th. And uh, you can sign up for the camp on uh, www.gpmxracing.com, uh, my website. Or you can give me a call. All the, uh, all the information are on the website. Uh, it's pretty easy. Or you can catch me at the local race, you know, here in uh, District 6. Uh, usually on the weekend I do race support. Of course, as always, I offer a private and semi-private lessons. So um, if you guys are interested to um, walk with me, Privately, you know, you can come here, you have a, your own track, it's quiet, you know, there's nobody to, uh, to disturb you, no noise, and it's safe to walk on section, etc. Et so uh, just give me a call, shoot me an email, and we'll get started.